Now there has been a problem with the magic wand tool or as some people like to call it the tragic wand tool. Let's jump right in. If we were to select the magic wand tool right there and here in this case we have a logo on a separate layer. Let us select that with the magic wand tool and let's mask it out by clicking on the mask button right here. Now let's take a look at the mask by holding the alt key or the option key and clicking on the mask and just have a look. Have a look at how harsh the edges are. It is just so jagged. But if we were to turn off the mask and have a look at the layer, see it is not as jagged. But if you look at the mask, this is so darn messed up. We got to give a big shout out to Hannah from the Photoshop team for bringing this to light. Thank you so much. And she's one of the sharpest minds when it comes to making Photoshop possible. Now the issue is no matter what you try, it doesn't get fixed. Let us delete the mask. I'm going to decrease the tolerance, let's say, to even two and try to do that again. Again, it adversely affects that, but just to show you a variation. Let us make a selection and click on the mask button right here. Have a look at the mask. It is still so jagged, all right? And it is supposed to be jagged since the tolerance is low. But even if we increase the tolerance, let's go back, increase the tolerance to about 120, why not? And now let us again make a selection, click on the mask button and have a look right here. It is still jagged. Now let's talk about anti-aliasing. Even that one is checked. Now what is anti-aliasing? It just makes the edges smoother. It includes pixels that are a bit transparent as well. I'm going to share with you an example and this one is going to make it clearer to you. In this case, let's say you want to mask out the chair. Let's decrease the tolerance to about 32 and select the outside, the white areas. Hold the shift key and add a bit of the insides right here. Now, right now, anti-aliasing is checked. If we were to mask out the chair, by the way, we need to create an opposite mask because the outside is selected. So hold the Alt key or the Option key and then click on the mask button to create an opposite mask. And let's have a look at the mask. It is smoother, right? All around, it is smoother here, right? Because anti-aliasing is checked. If anti-aliasing was not checked, let's go back to how it was without the selection. Let's turn off anti-aliasing. Make a selection, hold the shift key, select the insides, right? And now hold the alt key or the option key and click on the mask button. Let us take a look at the mask and have a look. The edges are jagged all around. But in the previous example, even that was not the case. So let's get back to this one. Delete the mask. Anti-aliasing, even if you check it, make a selection and Create a mask. Sorry about that. Create a mask. I accidentally created an opposite mask. Let us take a look. It's still jagged even if anti-aliasing is checked. So what is the issue? This is a tricky situation inside of Photoshop that even the developers are thinking about. So how do we get around that? How do we fix it? Let's delete the mask. The only solution right now is this. There are actually a couple of solutions. Number one, you can check sample all layers. Once you check that, and then when you make a selection, and then if we create a mask, have a look. Now it is smoother. Now the edges are not harsh. I'm not sure how visible this is to you if YouTube is compressing this video. Just make sure that you're watching in 4K or at least 1080p for this to be visible. So as you can see, all we had to do is to check sample all layers. I know this doesn't make all the sense, but that is the only way, unfortunately, that it is going to recognize all the smoother transitions between the logo and the background. Another way to get a smoother edge is not using the tragic wand tool at all. In cases like this, where you have an isolated object on a new layer. Instead, first of all, let us delete the mask. All you have to do is to hold the control or command and click on the thumbnail of the layer to create a selection. That is much smoother. If we create a mask out of that, have a look at it. It is exactly the same as that of the isolated object. Now you might be wondering, what is the point of creating a mask when you already have it isolated? Maybe you want the selection to target something. There can be many applications, but the point is, be a little careful with the magic wand tool. And whenever you can, and just keep in mind when you can, make sure that sample all layers is checked if you end up using it. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Oh, oh, oh.